Alright y'all, welcome back to Rooster Crow on TV, man. It's been a minute, but we back, you heard me? Hey, before we get into this story, man, keep in mind it costs zero dollars and zero cents to hit that subscribe button right now. And I even be fair and price match and do the same thing if you hit that like button. Alright, let's get into this story, man. I know it's been a few weeks for me, man, so I'm kind of off groove right now, you feel me? <laughs> but I've been straight, though, man. Hopefully y'all been doing good, you know? I got this story, man, coming out of D.C. Crazy, man. You know, I noticed, like, with our youth, they're starting to kill. And like I told y'all one time, I read a comment where the guy was like, the next generation is going to start killing at the age of 10 years old. And, man, like, we're, we're pretty close, man, you know. The people who are getting killed are pretty young. And the people who are doing the killing, they're young as hell, too, you know. So this one is coming straight out of D.C., man. It's from um, Cape D.C. This this is like a school that people who live in that area in D.C. try to get their kids to go to. A good school, you know, a charter school, you know. It's a school that, like I said, man, people in that area want their kids to go to. And this incident took place over there, you know. So let's get into this, man. I'm going to roll that news clip, and we're going to talk about it, you know. I love y'all. Have a great day, all right? First at 10, a teenager killed outside his high school in D.C. The suspect, one of his classmates. Now, this all happened right after school let out this afternoon. Classes are canceled now for tomorrow, we've learned, at KIPP D.C. in Northeast. Fox 5's Lindsay Watts joining us live from outside the school with the very latest. Lindsay. The student killed has not been identified by police, but we know he was 15 years old and the student arrested was 16. KIPP DC is a college prep academy, a charter school here in DC, and classes here only began on Monday. Police say right here in front of the school is where an altercation happened that ended in this deadly stabbing. Earlier today, right around here where I'm standing, we could see some items left behind, evidence markers around some scooters, what looks like a, a backpack and some clothing. This went on right after school got out today. It was just about three o'clock. A DC fire source tells me that when paramedics responded here, it was a chaotic scene. This is on Brentwood Parkway, about a block from Union Market. He says there was a crowd of frantic students, parents, and administrators that the 15-year-old stabbed was in very bad condition. He was stabbed in the chest, and paramedics performed CPR. I spoke to a DC mom tonight who helps ensure that families and friends of victims get mental health counseling after these kinds of horrible crimes involving children. She also has a connection to this school. My children went to KIPP. KIPP is very good academically, especially when it comes to you graduating from their facility. They give you scholarships and all that, so this is very shocking. I'm pretty sure that this 15-year-old leaving out this building did not think that that was going to be his last time, you know, leaving school. KIPP sent out a letter to parents soon after this happened, letting them know school is canceled tomorrow and that virtual counselors will be available. D.C. Police Chief Robert Conti was here on scene. He says an off-duty MPD officer was providing security inside the school as all of this was going on, and the officer called for backup when he saw the group of students gathered after school. He called this a senseless act. My deepest condolences to both families uh, involved in this situation because whether you are the, the, the perpetrator of the crime or the deceased person in this case, uh, it's sad, period, because this is something that did not have to happen. The school says there will be an increased police presence as well as private security in the days ahead. Back to you. A 15-year-old high school student was fatally stabbed during a fight that started one, when one student bumped another after classes were dismissed on Wednesday at Northeast Washington Charter School, according to a D.C. police detective who spoke to the suspect. The detective, testifying at a juvenile court hearing for the 16-year-old who was charged with second-degree murder while armed with carrying a dangerous weapon, said the suspect encountered two youths fighting after the jumping incident. The detective said the victim came on pain, confronted the suspect, and that they fought. 
in the midst of the scramble, police said Kimon, who started classes last week at Cake DC, like I said, this is like one of these good ass schools, you know. The public school was stabbed twice in the chest. So this kid started school there last week and he was stabbed twice in the chest. He died at a hospital, you know. The suspect's attorney said in court that Kimon and his friend had assaulted her clients four times in the past two years. An assertion that the victim's grandmother, Valerie Payne, later denies. We don't have any answers to what happened, the 62-year-old Payne said in a telephone interview before the court hearing. She described her grandson in the interview as an energetic and loving young man. She said that the boy's father had drove into the school to pick up his son who sent him a text message assuring him that he was on his way to the car near the school's front entrance in the 1400 block of Brentwood Parkway. Like, I'm not going to read this whole thing. The more you read this story, is man there's there's a lot at play here but this kid the 16 year old kid what he did was during the interview he told the detective that he carries a knife you know to school he doesn't take it in the building he leaves it outside you know for protection he walks with it to school and then after school he goes and take it and whatever so this whole thing started because somebody bumped somebody in the hallway. So the victim was really like, you could say he was trying to make sure his friend didn't get jumped, you know. And that was his role that he played in it. He wasn't really the one who bumped the, the suspect. Somebody else bumped the suspect. He was just the guy trying to make sure that his buddy don't get jumped, you know. But... They live in D.C. I'm not sure which area in D.C. they live in, but D.C. can be a pretty rough place, you know? My question is, why is it that our youth, why are we so quick, why are they so quick to turn to, to like a, to kill it, you know? Our youths are so quick to kill these days. Like, what's really, really going on here? Back in the day, somebody bumped you in the hallway, that's a, that's a fight, probably right then and there or after school, you know? Nobody's thinking about you dying in a high school fight after school because somebody got bumped in the hallway. So it's like, what's really going on? Like, why, why is the youth so quick to result to killing each other? That's a young dude, 15 years old. The 16-year-old guy couldn't have been that afraid of the 15-year-old. Even though they said the 15-year-old was a boxer, train or whatever it is. Could be just a, you know what I mean, defense mechanism or whatever it is. But why are, we, why are they so quick to turn to killing each other these days, man? A few days ago up the street, another young kid got killed, 17 years old, in, while sitting in the car by another, by another teenager. It goes on and on, man. What solutions are there? Like, uh, do we have any ways to make these kids feel safe to where they don't have to resort to like killing each other? Or, what can we do as a community? I mean, at a, at a charter school, those are one of the safest places, and these are places where parents actually want their kids to go to go to. If the kids are not safe there, where are they safe at? A father waiting for his son. The son texts the father, I'm on my way. But he never makes it to the car. Just to let it see a crowd, a group of kids, and then realizing that that's his son on the floor. It's too much going on, man. Had that suspect still been in the area and the father walked up and saw his son on the ground, that man would have caught a charge too. Let me make sure I'm still recording. You know, that man would have caught a charge too, man. 
It's too much going on, man. Like I said, let's talk about some solutions down in the comment section. You know? I think, man, look. With the defunding the police and everything else that's going on, a lot of people don't feel safe. For that kid to feel like he needs to have a knife on him, he definitely don't feel safe. You know, maybe he lives in a rough neighborhood and he has to use his knife for protection when he's walking back and forth to school. Who knows, man? You know, but something got to give. Because if nothing changes and this cycle keep going on like it is, the younger they are killing, the less they care. That means you and me are not safe. Come on, man. If a 13-year-old go out there and shoot some sit-up, he's not worried about what he just did. He probably thinks he's just playing video games or something. It doesn't bother them. So imagine if it gets younger and younger and younger. This shit is crazy, man. This shit is crazy. You feel me? But yo, let's all be safe out there. Like I said, let's talk about this in the comment section, man. What can we do as a community to assure these kids that they're safe? What can we do to cut back on all the gang violence and shit that's going on? You know? Till next time, man.